Voyager 2's instrument readings on the heliopause just came in. Launched 42 years ago, Voyager 2 left the solar system last year, about five years after Voyager 1 made the crossing. The latest data sent from Voyager 2 brought new insight and questions about the boundary region where the Sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. According to NASA, the Sun's energetic influence projects a bubble around the solar system called the heliosphere, according to Reuters. NASA reports that as Voyager 2 crossed the border region, or the heliopause, it registered an unexpectedly sharp difference in magnetic particles and plasma density. Comparing the data from Voyager 1, researchers found the heliopause is thinner and less changeable by solar cycles than thought previously, according to the New York Times. The Times reports the Sun creates the heliosphere bubble by blowing solar wind, or charged particles that are mostly hydrogen. University of Iowa professor Don Garnett told the Times that solar winds clash with interstellar winds in the bubble's outer region, which could explain why a sharp boundary was formed. Although the spacecraft plutonium batteries will run out eventually, they're still aging more gracefully than Star Trek Voyagers.